Hey everybody, this is Jerry from Vet Tech Bites, and today we're doing a redo. I realized in one of my videos that even though the equations were right, my math was wrong, and I couldn't live with it. So, I'm just going to redo it, and since I've learned more about it since then, maybe it can even be better than last time. And today we're going to be going over how to add medications to your IV fluid bag and give them at a desired dosage. I'm going to do one pretty straightforward one, and I'm going to do one more complex one. That way, anything your doctor throws at you, you're going to be able to take no problem. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first problem we're going to do is we're going to add Reglan 2 mg per keg per day to a bag of LRS that's going to be running at 2.5 mils per keg per hour, and our patient's going to be 12 kilograms. So typically when thinking about these questions, we need to find out the total amount of drug they're going to receive in one day or 24 hours, and the total amount of fluids they're going to be receiving in 24 hours. And then we can use a proportion to compare that to what it would be in a full bag. So let's start with the IV fluids. So they're going to be running at 2.5 mils per keg. So mils per keg. Anytime you hear per, it's multiplication. So mils per keg is going to be 2.5 times 12, which will equal 30 mils per hour. Right. So there's one piece of information already. And so we know how much per hour, and we need to find out in per 24 hours. So. 30 times 24 is going to be 720 mils per day, or 24 hours. So there's one part of our answer. Next part of our answer is going to be finding the amount of reglan we need in 24 hours. So 2 milligrams per times 12 kilograms equals 24 milligrams per day or for 24 hours. All right, so now that we know how much IV fluids and medication the patient is going to need in 24 hours, we're going to create a proportion. And what a proportion is are two ratios or fractions that are equal. So the first ratio that we know is going to be 720 mils per day. And we know that we need 24 milligrams inside of that 720 mls but we can make an equal proportion if we want to compare it to what it would be in a thousand mil bag and then we have x as our variable because we don't know how much drug we need so whenever we deal with a proportion we start at the x and we go whatever direction it can, the x can be on top and bottom it doesn't really matter you start with a number attached to the x and then you multiply across and then you divide upwards, and that's going to give you your answer. So 1,000 times 24 is going to be 24,000. You take 24,000 divided by 720, and that is going to give you 33.3 milligrams. So we now know that we need to add 33.3 milligrams of reglan to a 1,000 mil bag to be given at 30 mils an hour so the patient can get 2 mg per kick per day of the reglan. See? Makes sense? So like none of the math is really difficult, it's just kind of a few things you have to keep track of. But once you get the steps down and really just focus on the fact that you need to just figure out how much they need of both things per day create a proportion or an equal ratio uh, and just find your one variable that you need, which is the amount of drug that you need to add. It's the same setup every single time. But let's try one that's a bit more complex. All right, this one's a little bit more challenging. So we're going to be adding lidocaine at 30 mics per kg per minute to a 750 ml LRS bag that's already in use that's already running at 60 mils per hour. And our patient is 24 kgs. So we're just going to take this one step at a time, and I promise it's not even its not even that much. It's just a few things to keep track of. We're going to start off with 30 micrograms times 24 kilograms. 30 mics per kg is 30 times 24, which is going to give us 720 micrograms per minute. Because our equation is 30 micrograms per kg per minute, right? So we've done 30 times 24 equals 720 micrograms, but we still have per minute. And we run things in per hour last I checked. So we're going to multiply this by 60 minutes, and that is going to give us 43,200 micrograms per hour. It's a lot. 
but we're going to change that to milligrams because it's a much more usable number. So we're going to just divide that by 1000 and that's going to be 43.2 milligrams per hour. And then we multiply that by 24 hours because we're trying to find the total amount of fluids and the total amount of drug that the patient's getting per day, just like the last one. So we're starting off with the drug. So 43.2 milligrams per hour times 24 hours equals 1,036.8 milligrams per day. It's a lot. And so next up, we have to find out how much fluids the patient's gonna be getting per day or per 24 hours. So we know it's running at 60 mils per hour times 24 hours. That's going to get us 1,440 mLs per day, per 24 hours. But remember, we only have a 750 mL bag. So again, we're just going to have to do a proportion or an equal ratio uh, to find out what that would be for 750 mLs. So we're going to set it up just like we did last time. All right, so our proportion is going to be set up as 1,440 mLs over 1,000 36.8 milligrams because that's how much they need per 24 hours and now we need to relay that to what it would be for 750 mils so it's going to be 750 mls over x because we need to find out how many milligrams to add to that 750 mls and so just like last time we're going to start with a number attached to the x we're going to multiply across and then we're going to divide up or down depending on whatever you're doing. So we're going to divide up 750 mils times 1036.8 milligrams is going to equal 777,600 divided by 1440, which is going to give us 540 milligrams. And that's a more usable number and it also makes sense with the proportion of the other one. And so all that's left is to find out how many mils that is. So we're just gonna take our milligrams and divide it by the concentration, which is 2% or 20 mg per mil. So 540 divided by 20 is going to equal 27 mils. And that's it. So we know that we need to add 27 mils of lidocaine to 750 mils of LRS running at 60 mils per hour for our patient to be getting 30 mics per kick per minute of lidocaine. And that's it. Next time your doctor signs it up and everybody's going, what, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You got it, no worries. It's really that easy. You just gotta find out how much drug they need per day, how much fluids they need per day, and then do a proportion to figure out what that would be for whatever you're looking for. And that's it. And now you're a pro at adding medications to IV fluids. It's just a few steps. Remember, how much drug do they need per day? How much fluids do they need per day? Do a proportion to find out what that would be for what you're looking for. And that's it, every time. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too and I hope you can use this at your clinic. Make sure to leave a like down below if you liked it. Don't if you don't. Please feel free to leave a comment, I love that. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything fun coming in the future. And I'm Jerry with Vettech Bites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.